Hello YouTube, for AW and Brandon fans, welcome to yet another Blender tutorial. Today we will be talking about camera mapping and basically setting up the environment for rendering out uh, photorealistic uh, 3D objects and assets. So let's hop on over into Blender. Alright, um, so this is where we left off last week. We have our scene geometry uh, roughly modeled here. And um, our camera over here, we can hop into the camera view. And there we see it kind of matches up. Now um, we can go ahead and add our balls in to get us get an idea about uh, what we're going to do. So I went ahead and cleared the rotation of, or location of that. Um, I'm going to set to smooth shading. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that uh, and bring it out. Um, the x-axis, about three of them, just grab them, move them over, get them centered. Alright, uh, so let's make one of these a glossy material. We're going over to the orange, or the red, um, sphere. And the control panel and setting it to glossy. The other one's, um, by default diffuse. We can hop over into the rendered view. As you can see, with no lights, and it's just being lit by this uh, gray background. So let's run out a sun lamp, which mimics the sun by um, emitting parallel lines, uh, kind of imitating how far away the sun is in real life, giving um, a proper shadow cast. Uh, we're gonna go put this about, we're gonna put it behind and uh, up pointed, uh, rotating it to point it a little bit uh, to, towards the camera and that should, that should probably do it, maybe up a little bit more. We'd hop into render to get an idea about how that's casting the shadow. And uh, why don't we just grab the edges of the box using the edge down here, or selecting edge selection. Uh, down there and popping it back a little bit further so we get a better uh, idea of the shadow cast. And here we go, it's casting shadows and I think that's gonna do it. Now the next step is to get the, um, the background uh, projected onto our recreated scene geometry which we have um, already made. So first off, um, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to subdivide the background. We're going to have to add a subdivision surface. Um, go ahead and click that simple, set both of these to 5, and hit apply. And this is going to subdivide our ground plane, which gives us a high resolution um, kind of uh, background. Otherwise, um, projecting it uh, kind of, you lose the detail and it starts getting off. So we're going to go ahead and um, select it all by um, double clicking A in uh, the edit mode down here, um, hit U, and uh, then go ahead and project from view. And that's going to unwrap this as if, unwrap the UV or the, um, all the geometry as if it was being projected from the camera. Um, we can go ahead and hop over into our compositing workspace, uh, select um, the uh, material, um, nodes, and object, hit new, um, do input, uh, or sorry, do texture, image texture, and go ahead and open the background image from before, which is this one, and connect that to the color. And that will, um, if you tab out of edit mode, uh, go ahead and apply the texture to the background. And so what's, uh, you kind of get some funky artifacting going around where um, the camera clips. Here, we'll go over into the other workspace for a bigger view. You get funky artifacting where the camera clips um, the view and it starts um, tiling the image, but uh, that 
isn't a huge problem. Now the other thing you'll notice is if you pop into uh, the camera view that it will also, it, it didn't project all the way to the edge of this. And um, once again, that can be um, fixed by just adding uh, more subdivisions to the surface and it will project it more correctly. Um, but uh, because we're not going to render out in the final um, the background from this, all we're looking for is the shadow and to get the um, correct reflections, um, this is going to be fine. Uh, now it's a little dark so we'll go ahead and select the um, lamp and maybe bump it up to um, a strength of 3 uh, and see how that looks. But Besides that, it should, everything should pretty much be fine, and then we'll pick up later on the, um, on the environment. And that's uh, all for now, and uh, check back next week for another one. Sorry, this, uh, these last two were late. I was relatively busy. And uh, make sure you check out the original ones over at uh, Freddy W2. Uh, get the images off of uh, for, uh, Brandon's uh, Twitter page and you'll be good from there. Uh, if you like this, subscribe. Thank you.